right now I'm going to show you um, some of the features available in the vPython 3D physics engine programming uh, framework, I guess you can call it, for the Python language. Um, so, to start, let's go ahead and um, go to the vPython website. Um, if you just look up vPython, or go to vPython.org, you come to their website and you can download it for either Windows, Macintosh, or Linux. Um, and as you can see here, it's just, it's a really nice framework for creating 3D simulations, um, and whatnot. It's, it's really cool, actually. Let me just show you here. So, to start, we just, we just have to say, uh, our, make sure you open up, um, Vittle. That, that's, it's the, uh, IDE that comes with the Python. It's actually just a, a uh, revised version of the default idle IDE that comes with Python, but um, yeah, let's go and open it, um, create a new file, whatever, and we're gonna say, okay, we need to do from visual import. So what that's saying is we're just importing this this visual framework. That's what's called visual, and then. Let's just go and create a ball or a sphere. So we're gonna say ball equals sphere. So sphere. Now there are a few things, a few options we have when we define um, 3D objects in the Python. Um, for example, position, uh, the radius, color, or material type. So I'm just gonna show you kind of an example of what a material is. So let's do, let's find a variable earth. Let's call it sphere. Uh, position equals, we're just going to have it at the default uh, uh, origin. And let's say material. So we say for position, we say pause equals in parentheses 0, comma 0, comma 0. Um, and in parentheses comma, say material equals materials dot earth. And what that's going to do is set this this earth variable as a sphere at position this is at the origin um, with no uh, we, we're just using the default radius which is one and then the type of material it's going to be is material is is from the uh, materials dot earth. So if we just go ahead and um, save that, and you can do go up to Run and Run Module, or you can just do F5. It opens it up here, and here's our here's our little Earth. So it's kind of cool. You know, you can't really do anything um, anything like that with any other frameworks I know that easily. Um, so now let's go ahead and just, let's just get rid of the position and material and let's just have it and let's have the variable name ball and it's going to be a regular sphere and let's go ahead and do while one this is just creating a for loop that just continues on um, and what I'm going to do is actually make this ball move across the screen actually let, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and define the position as let's say negative one on the x-axis and everything else the same just to move it left a little bit and we're gonna have it we're gonna have it go right across the screen so basically just we're gonna we're gonna be changing the x-axis on on the ball's position um, and then there's a function that comes with vPython called rate this just tells the computer how quickly to run each each loop um, so let's just go ahead and do 100. That's usually the the default, and then change the position of the ball. We're just gonna do ball dot pause equals ball dot position. So basically, we're taking the the original we're we're taking the original position. Okay, sorry. We're taking the position that it is right at that moment, 
and we're going to add a little bit extra, uh, a, a number to that to make it go right, and then setting that as its new position, if that makes sense. So, ball dot position plus, let's say, 0 0.05 or something. So, e e for each one of these these l loops that it goes through, it just adds 0 0.05 to its x axis. Oh, sorry. Actually, I need to change this ball dot x. Ball dot x. So let's just give that a try. F5 to run. And as you can see, it's just moving across the screen. Um, I don't know, actually, what, it's, what it does is uh, once it hits kind of the side of the window, it, the window just kind of it zooms out. Um, here, let, let's do that a little bit slower, actually. So I'm setting that to 0 0.01, F5. And there we go. We can see it moving across the screen. So basically, we just now. Um, create motion with our object uh, and that's all I'm going to do for now I guess so I'll see you next time thanks for watching and I'll probably be posting some more vPython tutorials